Hello guys, it is your girl Mirandy and I'm back with another video and I have another message here for you guys today and this is something that Heavenly Father has continued to say to me but he also showed me in the spirit last night and so he has continuously for like past couple of days I want to say maybe even a week keep saying you my peoples you are my peoples like you my peoples and I had to like really sit with that before I put the message out because I'm like God why do you keep saying that to me like you my peoples and basically because we are one and when we come to Heavenly Father when we come to Jesus the Son and the Son is one with God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and when we choose to be come new creatures in Christ we are now one with him as well and so we have a obligation and an assignment of how we are supposed to be and how we are supposed to walk in the things that we're supposed to do the ways that we're supposed to carry ourselves by being his peoples and he talked about this in the gospel when they were like basically saying like oh your mother's looking for you your mother's looking for you and jesus was like who's my mother who's my brother who's my sister my family are those who are in christ those who are in christ and so he's telling them like um if you ain't in christ you ain't in me and you cannot come to the father without first coming to the son and so he just continued to reiterate, you my peoples. And then he showed me in the spirit. And he gave me some context, like Bible to go along with what it is that he is saying and what's going on right now. And so last night, Heavenly Father had showed me in the spirit that basically there are people who are going to come back into your life and I did a message about this before but he's talking about it again because these people are coming into your life the first message that I had given you guys um, a couple days ago or a day or two ago was regarding people coming back into your life in order to basically try to set you up and how they were basically scheming just like what happened with Daniel just like what happened with Mordecai, just like what happened in the story of Balaam and Balak. But this one's a little bit different. This time, because we know when, you know, the enemy is not able to succeed, he's going to try again a different way. And so this time he showed a person trying to come back, asking for help, crying out for help. Like, basically, they're like, if I can't beat them, let me join them. So let me play the sympathy card, the sympathy role, and make the person feel bad because they know you have a good heart. They know you have a heart of Christ. But remember, the Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things. So who can trust it? So sometimes we got to check ourselves even about the heart that we have of being so giving, being so loving, being so kind. Because the person that basically God had showed me and the spirit was coming back like the, like the enemy does as an angel of light. He comes as an angel of light. So he doesn't look like a big bad wolf. He doesn't look like a snake. He doesn't look like a serpent. But that's why you have to test the spirit. And ultimately this person came back to play the sympathy role like they needed help. But the person who ended up coming back they were wanted they were wanted and they were in a lot of trouble and so they needed to come back to you in order to hide from their issues from their problems from basically them being wanted and so I don't know who this resonates with, but this may resonate with someone. This person was wanted 
by the police and the police had been looking for this person but they haven't been able to find them and they ended up coming to you in order to hide out and basically what Heavenly Father showed me bad company corrupts good morals and so even if you don't know you have to take everything back to God to see God if this is this something that you want me to do is this something that I should be doing yes God wants us to love he wants us to help he wants us to give he loves a cheerful giver but if it's going to corrupt your morals your foundation that he has built you are not to be around those people and he showed me 2 Corinthians 6 of 14. I'm going to read it to you. It says, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And again, in the dream, this person was running from the law. They were looking to hide from the law. And ultimately, if they were looking to hide from the law, what is a lawlessness? Lawlessness is the opposite of integrity the opposite of doing what's right the opposite of following god's will and plan so they had lawlessness they were corrupt and so and what communion has light with darkness and what accord has christ with belia or what part has a believer with an unbeliever and what agreement has the temple of god with idols for you are the temple of the living god as god has said i will dwell in them and walk among them i will be their god and they shall be my people <laughs> um therefore come out from among them and be separate says the lord do not touch what is unclean and i will receive you i will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters says the lord almighty therefore having these promises be loved let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of God. So what does it mean to fear the Lord? I talked about this. That means to have a respect, reverence, to respect what God says, to respect what he's telling you to do. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And so he says, come from among these people. What fellowship do you have with them? Why are you walking with them? Why are you having them around you? Why? are you who is supposed to be my peoples my peoples in the light walking in light why are you amongst these people why are you hanging around with these people yes jesus walked with sinners i understand that but there comes a day and a time and a place where god will separate the wheat and the tares he will separate light and darkness he will separate the good from the bad he will separate there is a separation that god will have partake in your life for a reason for a reason because he doesn't want you around the immoral the corrupt and so as i told you guys vindication is happening don't allow yourself because that's what he showed me in the dream. Because this person allowed this person and felt bad for them and to help them, they ended up also going through the wrath and going through the vindication because they allow this person in their life who should have never been in their life to begin with. He says light has no fellowship with darkness. How can two walk together unless they agree? So how... Can you, who are supposed to be my peoples, who are supposed to be in the light, who are supposed to be in Christ, do what it is that I'm telling you to do when you got darkness around you? I'm going to need you to come over here to the light because you my peoples and come from among them is what he said. Come out from among them and be separate says the Lord, do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Come from among them. Be separate is what he says. 
stop going around them stop hanging around them stop being around them stop talking to talking to them stop fellowshipping with them you're supposed to be fellowshipping with christ he's supposed to be fellowshipping with those who are doing the will of the father god is rising up his people my peoples is what he kept saying my peoples you are my peoples my peoples I'm going to need you to come over here to this side because why are you on the losing team? Why are you on the defeated team? Don't you want to be on the team of victory? Don't you want to be on the team of light? Don't you want to walk with Christ like he says here? He says, what did he say? I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. I will dwell in them. The Holy Spirit cannot dwell inside of you if you are around nothing but darkness. He cannot dwell in you. The Holy Spirit cannot come and stay inside of you. The Holy Spirit will leave. Because it's like, no, I need to be around purity. I need to be around cleanness. I need to be around light. Cleanness is next to godliness. Like I told you guys, keep your house Sorry, guys. My phone was about to die. Um, but keep your house clean. Keep your keep your house clean old things have passed away let the dead bury the dead let the dead bury the dead come from among them and be separate so he can dwell in you so he can lead you so he can guide you and so i don't know who needs to hear this message but you are god's people and he needs his people my peoples is what he said to come from among them don't allow yourself to be put in a position where you have to go through vindication or wrath because you can't let go of the past you can't let go of the old things you can't let go of what your old person the old self who you are supposed to die to and we got to die to our flesh daily, is no longer supposed to desire. No longer. And so come from among them. Be separate. And um, he just gave me the example. He showed me what he did to Psalm and Gomorrah. And the Bible talks about in the last days that it's going to be worse than Psalm and Gomorrah. It's going to be worse. So think about how Abraham was interceding on behalf of his nephew Lot and their children or his children and his wife because they didn't want to listen and come from among them come from among them be separate he didn't want to listen and there comes a point in a time just like I told you they are cut off in that message they are cut off where God can no longer allow you to bridge the gap to intercede for these people who choose not to come from out of darkness. You can only bridge the gap for so long. What happened? Um, Abraham was only able to be the bridge for so long for Lot and his wife and his children. How long? And how much longer is he going to have to save you? How much longer is he going to have people interceding for you, praying for you? Eventually, he has to throw his hands up and say, you know what? Depart from me. I never knew you. Like, you, you chose not to listen. You chose to reject knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they rejected knowledge. They rejected it. And so, in this day this time we have so much capabilities to be knowledgeable we have so much ability more than what anyone in your past as far as like family had access to we have access to so much there's no excuse there's no excuse is what Heavenly Father is saying. There's no excuse. And so, when 
Lot's wife decided to look back because she couldn't let go and she turned into a pillar of salt. There was no excuse. He couldn't bridge the gap. He couldn't bridge. Abraham couldn't bridge the gap for that. He couldn't. But God did, you know, give him ultimately what he requested because of his faith, because of his love, because of his kindness, because of his obedience. But that only can, again, do so much. You have to make the decision. God set before us blessings and curses, life and death. So you ultimately have control over what it is that you choose to do with your life, with your time, with everything. You have the choice. And so just like Lot's wife was told, don't look back. And she had the choice not to look back. And she looked back. And what ended up happening? She turned into a pillar of salt. But God is so good that he still allowed them to come out of Solomon and Gomorrah before he wiped it away. And so that's just an example of how God will destroy a person, a city, a town, or whatever, because of the sin that that town, that city, what's going on, and you could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You could be fellowshipping with the wrong person at the wrong time because light has no fellowship with darkness and be destroyed because of that, and just like in the days of Solomon and Gomorrah. And so be his people. You are his people. You my peoples. Come from among them and just ultimately, ultimately have no fellowship with darkness. And so I don't know who needs to hear this message, but I pray this message blesses you. I love you guys. Be blessed and I'll be back with another video, Elohim willing. Bye guys.